Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Rattle Rogue, and we are up to rank 4 now, so well, just 4 more ranked. Unfortunately, the last 4 are the most difficult ranks by far. Uh, we got the coin, we got 2 2 drops, and we are not against someone with a um, hero power that does 1 damage, even though. Uh, loot hoarders don't do that well versus that 1-1 one, one guy that summons another 1-1 one, one when it dies, but uh, let's keep these two and see what happens here. We might even just stack up if we uh, if we face that. Well, let's see what he does. Right, it's a pretty common start from Warlocks nowadays. Somehow they seem to always be able to throw it. Now, we could stack up and kill it that way. Um, what I'm not so happy about is that we don't have any free drops. Uh, we could also just play the the Huckster. But of course the danger with that guy is also that pretty much all of these Warlocks also run a Knife Juggler. So if you play a minion, he could play Knife Juggler, uh, run that into that, and if you're unlucky it could hit that. Like, I just like to get rid of it, honestly. I would definitely not play the loot holder. Oh, there's a knife juggler. Alright, so. SI7. That's good, especially if you can get a backstab. Uh, but let's kill that. And then we'll play a huckstab. And hope he doesn't have anything too annoying here. I really want to kill that knife juggler next turn. Okay. Not too scary. Hoping he doesn't have a... Well, I mean, he gets a 1-drop from this guy, but... At least a 1-mana card, but it might not be something he wants to play right now. Raptor! Alright, I think I want to play this Raptor here. You he can't just sit on it, can't afford it. We need to uh, get stuff out there. Then let's kill that. Eh. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I guess it is better than nothing, but not much. Not much. Oh, it's too bad we actually had to... Oh, let's see what it, it, we get out of it. Maybe it'll be awesome. But obviously I would rather copy the Twilight Summoner or Blood Hoof or something like that, but... Eh. This is what we got so far. It seems like he doesn't have the best start ever. So that's good for us. Let's kill that. And the next turn we can play our SI7 to do some damage. Well, I mean, I'm just looking at this card. I'm thinking, like, what's the point? Like, what's the point of this card? <laughs> it just seems so bad. Because you can get rid of it so easily, right? Like for the same mana cost as you play it. I think I think it's two mana like the curse, right? So yeah, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Now not so happy about that. So I mean we could do something like loot holder SI7 into that and then kill the the leftover, the 1-1 one, one imp with this. That might be worth considering. We don't have any raptor or anything nearby, so... Shadowcaster, right, so we don't really need to keep it on the board. Let's try that. So we do this. And... And then we kill that and get a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Right. Dark Hitler. Against this kind of Bullock is when I want AoE. I mean, the thing is, I can even keep the board clear the entire way, but then he could potentially fill it up with tentacles later also. So it's a little bit scary. Not what I wanted to happen. Hmm. Ah, Sylvanas not that great against this particular deck. 
have Blood Hoof. Do we want to do something? Um, and also now we got a Raptor, right? So turn 7 we could do... Play these two. I like that. And then just maybe turn 6 just play Blood Hoof. I mean overall... Kinda not really happy with that guy. We could... Dagger up, kill it. Kill that, kill that. Yeah, okay, maybe. He gets another imp, unfortunately, but... Alright, let's try that. Let's do that. We kill that. Kill that. And then we play this. I guess we can't copy it if he kills it, but we have Blood Hoop we can copy later with the, with the Raptor. We're not really getting lucky with our, <laughs> with our Huxters, gotta say, though. Oh. Okay. Okay, that this one stay. That's good for us. We're a little low on life, though, so we have to be careful. Probably want to copy this this turn. Then we have four mana other than that. What do we want to spend that four mana on? We have an eviscerate. We want. I'm mean, clearing the board would be pretty nice. Uh, can't do that. I mean, I'm thinking of actually just playing deadly poison, even though it's not really. And we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, it's not ideal, but it's good enough. Let's do that. And we'll do that. And that. Alright, that's fine. You only have 15 life, but I don't think this particular Warlock deck has that much burst. It just has a bunch of small minions, I think. Oh no! <laughs> I say that! <laughs> no. Oh, but I dark. Oh my god. Well, he got that one with Dark Peddler, but he had that one in the deck, and then. Alright, but I mean. <laughs> I did. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. I guess they do have some burst. And in particularly that guy. Jeez. Alright. Well, I guess I did the right thing in trying to clear as much as possible. But... But even then, I would have... <laughs> I would have died even if I cleared everything. Anyway. Let's say... Uh, which I don't think I could. Let's uh okay, so we have this as a mage. We've got two drop, three drop. Yeah, let's keep that. That is fine. Nothing to do here, but we don't have any one drops in the deck, so we didn't expect to do anything. We could also Yeah. At least versus a mage, we're more likely to get good cards. I mean a lot of the I find Shamans and Warlocks, they don't really have gifts so good cards usually with the Huckster. Mages are usually a little more reliable. So honestly, I think I'm just going to play the Swarmer here. Since we can probably get something better to copy later, right, than a, a Huckster. I guess we'll kill that first, see what we uh, get out of it. Ice Block? Alright, certainly more useful than the stuff we got from the, the Warlock. fine. don't think we're gonna attack with this this turn because I think I would rather just play the um, the Tomb Pillager. Thank you. I'm fine with that. It's like the thread of it. Let's make magic. Uh, okay. Get a coin. Deadly poison. Yeah. Oh, that's a good target for that. 
But I think we, we want to get rid of that. So I think for now we do this. And then uh, we play that and we can attack. Alright. Hmm. It looks alright, but uh, I'm guessing we're against the uh, Yogg-Saron mate, so uh, anything could happen, literally. Alright, come on, don't do... What? The face, jeez. Oh man, don't, don't... Oh right, because then I can't attack... Ah... Uh... Well, at least we have Eviscerate, so we know we can get rid of it no matter what. Man, what a jerk. Alright, so how do we do this? I think we just played this plus Eviscerate. We absolutely need to get rid of that Flame Waker. Not having it. Alright. Well, she doesn't have that many cards in her hand, so it's not as scary as it could be. I think, <laughs> I think we should kill it though, uh, which we can. So let's do that. Uh, we've got that, we got four or five mana. Alright, so we do that, and then uh, let's kill this one. We don't wanna. Let's just get the loot hold out too. Enough. And we're not really that scared of Flame Strike because we would actually have two five fives left over, plus we would draw a card, so yeah, that that's fine. Not not scared of that. Okay. We gotta be careful though. Fifteen life, not that much versus a mage. But thankfully, she's pretty low on cards. Hmm, that's pretty useful. Um. Right. So. We should get rid of that before it grows. We can kill it that way. I don't really want her to hit our face, so I want to taunt up. Hmm. Which I'm actually kind of happy we have the ice block. Don't think I'm gonna play this turn though. Um. How about we do? We can't really clear the board that effectively. So, I mean, we could do it with the knife, but I don't really like that play. Okay, let's get rid of that mana worm before it grows. Now we'll go for the face with this one in turn. And we have like <laughs> three five fives. Wait, oh my god. Oh no. No. Okay. Wait, wait a second. D does she actually have lethal? No. Okay. But the thing is, she's threatening it for next turn. So now is when I want my ice block. We need the ice block and then we need to set up for lethal for next turn. And... Uh, uh, so if we go all out for the face... Nine... Uh, Amazing. I wish we had another ice block coming up. Thing is, if we get her down to 15 and play this, we still have our taunts. Yeah. Okay. We got our taunts. I think we go all out for the face. Do that. And then, if you're lucky, she can't even trigger the ice plug, but obviously, I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, but let's see what she plays. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good chance that she can trigger it. All right. <laughs> but man, do we have lethal though? That's that's the thing, right? I mean, we could still Edwin. Okay. I, I mean, like, uh, I think we're a little short, aren't we? Okay. I mean, hmm. I mean, 9, 11, for... Are we one short? 
Oh wait, wait. We can. That cost. Right. So we can. The shadows beckon. We can do that. And then. For honor. Sign in blood. Okay. Yeah, that works. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I've never copied an event of Arcus before, but of course, of course, that's exactly what we needed. Well, that was a close one, and and the Huckster was awful last game, but this game, the Huckster gave us exactly what we needed. Thank you, Huckster. I appreciate people when they do something nice for you. That includes your Hearthstone cards. Say thanks. Alright, another wall another wall. Um uh, if I keep facing this many warlocks, I need to add some uh, some AoE again. But um let's see. Loot hoarder. Ah, uh, let's just keep it just in case he doesn't play anything early on. Who knows? Maybe it'll be like a handlock or something. Unlikely. It seems like they're all this uh new new kind of Sue thingy, medingy. Oh, let's see, do you have your 1-1 one, one guy? Well, it's a 1-1 one, one girl, I guess. That's, But they're almost the same, right? It's the one has death rattle. Okay. He has the 1-1 one, one couple. Uh, I think actually killing that one is most important, because that one uh, interacts with the uh, with knife juggler. So that's the one we need to get rid of the most. Hmm. Not great. Not great. That's... All right. So how do we do this? I mean, we could. Which we had a backstab, man. Where's our backstabs? Have we even had any of these two games? Um. We could get the deadly to get rid of that, but is that the right choice? The thing is, I wonder. Like Raptor. Not really happy with it. Not really happy with it. Kill that. Uh, kill that. It's just nothing is really that appealing. Here we go. I was thinking maybe dagger up deadly last turn instead of. I mean, Get in there and, fight, and that hurts. Yeah. Not good, not good. Come on, we need a backstab here. Why do you fall? Man, so much stuff. Yeah. Well, okay. Next turn we can come into the SI7. This turn we cannot. Could do deadly. But the thing is, problem is we can't combo it with anything, so not liking it that so much. Uh, Deadly. Ah, we just don't want anything to play with it. <laughs> you want okay. Let's play this. Still hoping I get a backstab though. I don't think my deck is that good against this typical Warlock deck, so if it gets more common. I haven't seen it that much before today. Um, but if it's on the rise, I'll make some adjustments. Oh no. Uh, one of the problems, of course, is that I always seem to draw the most awful cards from my Huckster against Warlocks. Come on, we could still use a backstab. 
Okay, finally. That's good. That's because that's exactly what we needed for sure. Um, so we want to backstab SA7. Then uh, maybe Huckster. We can get rid of those two. Can't do Deadly Plus. You could not play the SI7. No, I think we should play the SI7. I mean, we could also do. I mean, we could do Deadly on that, backstab that. Or maybe we should get rid of this one, actually. Yeah, we need to get rid of that. Could. Backstab. No. Yes, then. Backstab SI7. This guy's tough. And, uh... Sap? No. Doesn't make sense. Uh, let's play this one. Hmm. Definitely keeping backstab in my, in my opening hand versus pretty much every warlock in the future this season, I think. I'm actually kind of happy he does some trading here. That's less. And does a curse! <laughs> oh my god! This is like four useless warlock decks out of four. Jeez. Okay. So. Not looking too hot. We don't really have any removal here. I mean, we got sap, but sapping this is not. I mean. It helps a little bit, I guess, but. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I'm looking at, well, deadly poison, but then we can't get this one out. So maybe we should sap, but it's just... Thank you. Got... Yeah, I probably got a sap here. It's not really great, but it does reduce the damage we take, I suppose. <laughs> sap on him, flame him. But it's not like this kind of warlock has any... Um, expensive minions that are well you have doom god but that's not that amazing to sap either honestly <sighs> man these warlocks didn't go so well but at least we uh, we killed that mage with that uh, clutch ice block right so don't don't hate on the huckster too much he did save us in the second game thanks for watching everyone i'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>